you uh, and thank you for the uh, opportunity to present today on our request uh, for independent use of Alice Your Heart in heart transplantation. Uh, this is with reference to the draft policy for Alice Your self DNA testing. Uh, I'm Robert Woodward, uh, the Senior Vice President of Research and Development at CareDX, uh, speaking on behalf of Dr. Howard Eisen, who's the Medical Director at the Penn State University uh, College of Medicine Cardiac Transplant Program. Uh, unfortunately, he wasn't able to be here today. Um, there was an uh, earlier than expected maternity leave in his, on his staff and he had to stay back behind to, to care for patients. But he is on the phone and will be available to answer questions at the end should there be any questions uh, uh, for him. So just uh, a briefly, a little of history of the coverage of Alisher um, by the, through the Moldex program. In October of 2017, Alisher was covered for kidney transplantation um, by Moldex policy that was specific to Alisher in kidney transplant based on the publications that were available at that time. And then in May of this year, we submitted a dossier for Alisher Heart for coverage following uh, publication of a study demonstrating the performance uh, of Alisher Heart in heart transplantation. And then of course, this became a draft policy um, just in August. Um, and combined both kidney and heart transplantation into one proposed policy. So this d evolved the, uh, LCD, the you know, his historical process of LCDs by placing the test for different organs under one draft policy, uh, which is consistent as we are understanding it with the, uh, the Moldex uh, goals moving forward. But also this draft LCD covers the use of Alisher heart in heart transplantation only when used with Alimap and did not address uh, standalone use of Alisher Heart as a standalone test. Um, this is based on the references included in the draft LCD um, that the policy would cover Alisher Heart when used with Alimap um, based on the published performance of the two sets to get two tests together being stronger than uh, either of them individually. However, there is evidence for all, all three of these heart tests um, based on independent data sets, Alimap, Alisher Heart, and what we call heart care, which is using both Alimap and Alisher Heart together. Uh, each have clinical utility and warrant independent coverage. Um, Alimap is a gene expression profiling test uh, for non-invasive identification of rejection in heart transplant and is supported by numerous publications since 2006, including a clinical utility study in the New England Journal of Medicine. Alisher Heart, donor-derived cell-free DNA test for identification of rejection uh, in, by measure of graft injury in heart transplantation is supported by data from a study published this year in 2019 uh, covering clinical validity and utility and published in the American Journal of Transplantation. And then numerous presentations at the International Society of Heart Transplant and the American Transplant Congress uh, meetings over the past few years, all of which the abstracts appeared in uh, JHLT, the Journal of Heart and Lung Transplant, and AT AJT, the American Journal of Transplantation. And then finally, heart care, which is, as I mentioned, what we call the use of Alimap and Alisher Heart together for non-invasive identification of rejection in heart transplant uh, is supported by data from a 2015 presentation at ISHLT, and now that is um, in final stages of a publication. It's been through a couple of rounds of review, and we would expect to, that to appear shortly as a peer-reviewed publication. And then there's, you know, there's further ad abstracts um, likely to be presented at ISHLT and ATC in 2020. So importantly, what I want to talk about today is clinical examples for independent use of Alisher Heart, um, demonstrating that there are times when independent use of Alisher Heart is reasonable and necessary for many indications. Um, the first of these is early, the early post-transplant period. Alimap is uh, FDA cleared for use 55 days and greater post-transplant. Alimap is a gene expression test um, that it, um, interrogates genes that are expressed in the immune cells and that are impacted, and some of these are impacted by um, what's going on in the f first two months post-transplant, likely high levels of immunosuppression uh, medications. And Alishur is measuring graft injury through donor-derived cell-free DNA, um, and Alishur is not impacted by those same mechanisms, and we have assembled data from um, a registry study and early compassionate use of Alishur in that time period between 14 and 55 days post-transplant and demonstrate um, that it's the same distribution of Alisher scores, whether before 55 days or after, after 55 days. Similarly, if on high doses of corticosteroids, 
Um, the uh, physicians are cautioned against using Alimap even if it's after the 55 days. Um, cautioned against using Alimap if the dose of corticosteroids is greater than 20 milligrams per day. And there are many patients who, because there is a significant risk of rejection, are still on high doses of maintenance immunosuppression for several months. And uh, physicians are really eager to have a non-invasive method that they can use to uh, examine for rejection uh, when they can, are not able to use Alimap. Another situation is when the major concern is antibody-mediated rejection. Um, the gene expression signature for Alimap was developed uh, before the antibody-mediated rejection was defined in heart transplantation and so was trained on and is uh, most applicable to acute cellular rejection. There's significant concern for antibody-mediated rejection in heart transplantation, both early post-transplant um, for highly sensitized patients and late post-transplant for patients that develop de novo donor-specific antibodies. And so although um, physicians could use heart care, both Alimap and Alisher, there may be situations where their choice is to uh, use just Alisher when the primary concern is antibody-mediated rejection. In 2017, there was a publication that demonstrated that Alimap does have some uh, confounding by uh, high, high levels of cytomegalovirus infection, which is the uh, viral infection at most concern in heart transplantation. And so, um, We've um, examined the data from the Dior registry for patients who had a, a CMV infection and demonstrated that, again, since it's not an immune response, since it's looking at graft injury, uh, donor-derived cell-free DNA as measured by Alisher is not impacted by high, uh, high levels of cytomeg cytomegalovirus infection. Another situation where um, in patients, for instance, who are CMV negative but receive a heart from a CMV positive donor, and are at high risk for a CMV infection confounding for, with the, the rejection and impacting um, the heart function, Alisher heart may be a better choice um, than Alimap, or they may choose to use them both to, to get a differential diagnosis. And then lastly, rejection treatment for transplant patients is uh, often, especially for cellular mediated rejection, is often high dose pulse corticosteroids. And so after treatment for rejection, physicians are cautioned against using Alimap in, for a few weeks. And during that time, Alishur, uh, which is again uh, measuring uh, re injury to the graft as opposed to immune activation, um, has been shown to uh, inform on and correlate with uh, recovery from rejection um, as diagnosed by a uh, endomyocardial biopsy. And that was uh, presented at ISHLT in 2015. So there's data supporting these various uses for, of Alishur heart alone. And so in summary, Alimap has established value and an extensive record of publications. Alisher Heart has evidence in heart transplant to demonstrate value independent of Alimap defined testing protocols for identification of rejection. Heart care, the combined use of Alisher Heart and Alimap does provide demonstrated performance to discriminate rejection that is greater than either individual test alone. But importantly, there are multiple situations where the independent use of Alisher Heart uh, would be needed and warranted to provide critical value uh, for transplant patients. And so our recommendation is to modify the draft policy to allow independent use of Alisher Heart in heart transplantation while retaining coverage for the use of Alisher Heart with Alimap. And the flexibility to use both Alimap and Alisher Heart together, Alimap individually or Alisher Heart individually, enables optimal patient management and the flexibility for physicians to personalize the surveillance to the situation that's going to be most valuable for each patient. Um, thank you for your attention and happy to answer any questions as is uh, Dr. Eisen who is presumably on the phone. I'm here. And yes.